All right, let's continue on with some more construction and property types. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the main systems of real property. Now, I understand that this is not a construction course, nor is it a home inspection in course. So we are not going to get in a whole bunch of weeds here about the difference between you know, the different types of roofs and the different types of gables and the different types of foundations. Um, we're just gonna basically touch on all of the parts so that you have a basic idea. Um, this class is designed to be a refresher of the brokerage. So once again, not a very in-depth section that you will deal a lot with. Now, if you are a person that deals with a lot of new construction homes, or you are a rehabber or an investor, you may certainly be more adept at this than this course is going to require out of you. So just bear with me and let's go through some of the uh, points and the systems of the property. The first one we're gonna talk about is obviously is the foundation. The foundation, there are many different types of foundations that can be used. There's pier foundations down, if you've been down to Madison, Indiana, where the water houses are on the water, sometimes they're built on these stilts looking items. There's uh, spread footings, there's all kinds of foundations. The most common foundation is one that's poured concrete or concrete block. Um, those are the simplest and easiest and quickest to build. And most of the houses throughout most of the United States are built with those kind of uh, foundations. You're gonna be talking about the joists, uh, your flooring, your floor on that foundation is going to be comprised of several components. You've got the joists of the floor, that's the bottom layer that is the structure, so to speak. Then you've got a subfloor that's laid upon the joists. From there, they have some kind of underlayment, which kind of smooths out the subfloor. And then from there, it's just you're going to have that finished flooring that's going to be part of that. And that could be carpet, could be a tile, could be uh, laminate, any of that. All right. So that would be on the flooring. Now, the frame, uh, the frame system basically is an assembly member of different components that create the load bearing structure of the building. This is what provides the stability. These are the walls of the construction that is called the frame. Uh, the roof, the roof is one, uh, it says here I wrote, uh, on the surface looks like a layer of shingles. However, there are many more items that involved in a roof than just shingles. It is a very complex system that is composed of many different materials working together. So for instance, you're gonna have decking, which is the plywood that you see, which would be the structure portion that is laid upon the roof joist. You're gonna have some sort of water barrier or a tar paper. Then you're going to have shingles, all right? We're not even discussing things like flashing, which is the metal piece that goes around a chimney or uh, eaves or the drip edge. All of these are further smaller components that make up a roof so that it is both water and heat and wind resistant and it requires several different parts to do that. Uh, the window frame obviously is a portion inside of the frame itself. It is a structure that is comprised of the head, the jam and the sill. The head is the top. The jam would be the vertical uh, boards that define the edge of the window and then the sill is the bottom and then plus obviously you're going to have some glass in there of some sort probably uh, door frames this is the entire door frame that would support the door and once again like a window if you think about it a door frame is nothing more than an enlarged window or you could think of a window as a small door 
<laughs> all right? You've got the head, you've got the door jam that is the vertical part. The panel is the door itself. Uh, the astragal, uh, a lot of you probably don't even know what that is. If you've got double doors, say your front door is a double door and there's a piece of metal here that separates those, that would be the astragal, all right? Fixed panel might be double doors, but one of these doesn't open. It's only, it's only a single door, but it looks like a double door. The door sweep, obviously, is the distance that it sweeps in or out. The strike plate is the little piece right here that the lock goes into. That would be the sweep, or the, uh, that would be the strike plate. And then you've got transoms, which could be that window part here. You've got side lights, which could be the over to the side. Uh, for instance, our front door is one door, but then it's got two side lights and a huge transom. All right, so that would be the front door. You've got all kinds of interior finish work, which could be just about virtually anything you want to conceive would be the interior finish work. It could be the interior walls or partition. Now, you may have included that in your framework, and that's misspelled. Framework, all right? Drywall, baseboards, trims, cabinetry, uh, all of that would be the interior finish work. Now, you also have ventilation and moisture control. Uh, this is going to be the water barrier right before they lay the outside laminate, which could be siding or brick or stucco. There's going to be a water vapor in there. So you may have your wood frame and then your brick goes on. There's going to be something in there to stop water from going in. You've got to worry about supply air coming into the house and return air and all kinds of stuff. Okay. Then the last three parts of this, um, we're going to just lump together because I don't get involved since they are a licensed required activity. You've got uh, what I want to call the guts of the house. You've got the HVA system which could include all the duct work plus this, uh, you know, the unit itself. And then you've got a condenser outside and an air conditioner inside. You've got electrical, which would be all of the wiring, um, plumbing, which is all of obviously the plumbing throughout the house. Uh, there has been some huge changes to these two here lately. I'll bet you to the HVAC. Plumbing now may use a flex type of plumbing rather than the old cast iron and then they went to lead, then they went to copper and now there's probably flex plumbing throughout the house, the electrical. Now we've got this issue too with new homes being built, the smart houses that may have cable running through it for connectivity purposes if you're doing security or you know internal speakers or anything like that. Um, so this would be deemed as the guts of the house. Now, I know that that was a very quick overview of everything that we went through. Once again, if this is going to be your profession and you want to get delve more into that and make a niche market for yourself as being that agent that understands construction, that is excellent idea. However, this course is not designed to be a construction course. Once again, seek out other education, Google all of this stuff. Matter of fact, most everything I just found came off of directly off of Google to explain how to do this yourself, what all the names of the parts are, all kinds of issues like that. So this should be um, something that you would do if you have decided that you are going to go into uh, the construction arena. Now, it's always good to understand the basic concepts so that if you're talking to a home inspector who is probably a little more educated than I am on all of these systems that when he comes back and he starts using technical terms, you know, about the joist being uh, rotted through or mold in the joists or the ceiling, uh, the roofing gables or the drip edge is uh, damaged or the flashing is gone you can understand what he's talking about because of that basic knowledge, all right? So we're gonna keep moving on. We're just about done. I appreciate all you guys hanging out for these 30 hours. 
I know there's something else you much rather would have been doing, but let's face it, this is your career now, and you by far are going to be way ahead of a lot of other people if you have learned this and taken it to heart. So we've got a couple more uh, slides here we're gonna go through, so stick around, we'll be right back.